Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam Black here. All right, so um, you know it's about that holiday season um around Halloween time, and they said we're gonna give y'all two new monsters that fit the theme. So we got um like a Frankenstein uh type of monster, and then we got like a Jack o' Lantern pumpkin new monster. Um, the Frankenstein is a three star, and the Jack o' Lantern monster is a four star. All right, so first let's go to okay, Jack o' Lantern. That's his name. Jack o' Lantern, that's what I thought. Alright, well, matter of fact, but let's go to the Awakened version. His name is Smokey. He's an attack monster. Alright, so I wonder how good of an attack monster he's gonna be. Attack is pretty good, 549. Defense 436. So he looks like a pretty balanced monster. And base speed is not too bad at 101, okay? So at least they don't got him like starting at 96 or something like that. So, let's see. Trickster. <clears throat> Trick or treat? Attacks the enemy. They should have called it trick or treat. Anyway, attacks the enemy three times with each hit having a 30% chance to decrease the target's attack speed for two turns. Awesome. Really good. First of all, as soon as I heard it's attacking three times, I thought a necro. Okay, so that's going to be real good. And then also, if he's a real powerful monster, that attacking three times could do a lot of damage. And then on top of that, he could slow you down for two turns, which is really good. All right. It's good to have a debuff on your first attack, and slowing down somebody's attack speed is great. Now, next is Ghost Appearance. He calls upon the Wandering Souls to attack each target four times. All right, so he has another time, another um, attack that hits multiple times. This one hits four times on his second skill. That's really good. Each hit has a 30% chance to increase the target's chance of dealing a glancing hit for two turns. Awesome. I, I, I like this monster already. Glancing hits are great. It's great in Tower of Ascension, it's great in the arena, it's great in dungeons, it's great everywhere. It's great against bosses. Um, man, that's really good. His second skill does this. He attacks four times, so it's a, it's a he has a nuking attack that um has a debuff on it. Wow. Okay, really good. Fire Starter. Attacks all enemies two times. Okay, so he has an AoE, and then he has something else that hits multiple times. So he's really going to be good in Necro. All right, attacks all enemies two times with each hit having a 50% chance to either decrease their defense or disturb their HP recovery for two turns. All right, man, he's just a debuff king. He got all type of debuffs going on here. Wow. All right, first of all, he's gonna he could weaken defense. That's always good. Any monster that could weaken defense is great for your team, all right? That's why so many people use Bella. She heals and she breaks defense. And then not only that does... He um also stops your HP recovery for two turns. So um it's good against healers, except for Chasun. Chasun scales on HP. Uh well one of her does. The other one they'll stop from healing. So this is a good monster to have. Really, really good monster to have. And then I'm sure that um he has all these nuking attacks. He hits more than once. He's gonna he's gonna do a lot of damage, okay? Um his leader skill. Really good leader skill, too. Increases the HP of all ally monsters in the dungeon by 33%. So I'm thinking they really thought of when they were making him, they were thinking of Necro. All right, so um, increasing the HP is always good. Always good, okay? Um, definitely if you need a tankier build um, going into like the later dungeons. Really good monster. I really like this one a lot. All right? Um, me personally, since he has all three of his skill has debuffs on there, and um, I want him to, since he's an attack monster, me personally, I'll go Rage Focus, okay? Um, I'll go Rage Focus, I'll go Attack on 2, Crit Damage on 4, and Attack on 6. And um, uh, you could possibly go, I could see somebody going to Spare Focus because he has a, a AoE that hits twice. And then he has all those all his other two other skills hit multiple times. So you have a good chance of, um, you have a good chance of landing those, um, um, like knocking out those people um, with your despair, but um, me personally, I'm gonna go. I'll go rage focus with him. Okay. Um, let's go to the next one. Let's see what's going on. But Jack uh, Smokey is good. I like Smokey. I like Smokey. Smokey, like, come on, man. It's Friday. You ain't got shit to do. Let's just play Summoner's War. All right. His name is Chillin. <laughs> he just chilling. All right, cool. That's what's up. All right, so I'm um, chilling. 
Um, he also has Trickster. They should have named it Trick or Treat, but we're going to get past that. All right, Trickster. Attacks the enemy three times. All right, so he has a, also has a debuff of um, landing, making them go slower with their attack speed. Now, let's see what the next thing is. It's different. Song of the Night Wind. Increases the attack speed and critical rate of ally, allies for two turns. Oh, okay. All right, I wish it would also um, increase the attack bar. That would have been really good. Okay, but... um. He increases his attack speed and critical rate. So, um, I can see people using that definitely if you, um, uh, as a support monster. He's an attack monster, but so right now it seems like support. But, um, let's see. Let's see what the next one is. He has a passive. He steals a beneficial effect from the enemy target when landing an attack. Your attack speed increases according to your beneficial effects currently on you. Okay. So, every time he attacks, he steals, uh, beneficial effects. That could be useful. And then also it makes him go faster. Okay. But, like I said, I'm thinking this Trickster must do a lot of damage because that's the only two skills he has. He has this first move. It must do a lot of damage, okay? It's a nuking attack. It hits three times. And then, this one's not an attack at all. It just increases his attack speed. And then he has a passive that just takes your um, away somebody's um, buffs every time and puts it on himself. And it makes him go faster. So, um, this is a monster. I'll see, have to see how people use him. Um, he seems like he could be good, but it depends really on how good Trickster is. Um, cause there's no point if he's just going fast and he's not doing any type of damage. But he is an attack monster. He is an attack based monster, so we'll see. Alright, his leader skill. Increase the accuracy of all ally monsters in the dungeon by 40%. Alright, so, me personally with him, I will either go, um, I will either go, let's see, what's this? Okay, I either go swift focus or swift blade with him. Um, speed on two. Um, probably maybe crit damage on four and attack on six. Okay, or I go violent with him. Um, same type of build: speed on two, crit damage on four, and attack on six. Okay, so um, yeah, we want to take advantage of his speed skill because um, he gets faster um, as as the, um, as he gets more. As he steals more buffs from the enemy. So this is a, a good monster. Um, but it some, seems like something people have to play around with. But um, either Swift swift Focus or Swift Blade or um, Violent Blade or Violent Focus. I can see doing very well with that monster. Alright, so Chillin'. Chillin's not as good as Smokey though, I don't think. Alright, so Windy. Okay, so they just, you know, I don't even think they were thinking too much about, like, naming these things. Let's just, just come up with something quick to, because <laughs> uh, Halloween's almost here, you know. So, so he's a support monster. The other one seems like a support monster, too, but they're saying Wendy's just the support monster. So let's see what. Trickster again instead of Trick or Treat. Okay. Song of the Night Wind. Okay, he increased the attack speed once again. And critical rate of all allies for two turns. So that's why I thought the other one should have been a support monster. So what's he got going on? He has a, also has a passive. He gains a seal that is equivalent to 20% of your max HP for one turn when being attacked by an enemy. Okay, this sounds like the wind lick kind of. This effect only activates once a turn. Okay, so if they break the shield, it's not going to pop back up. Um, you have to go through your turn again to get your shield back up. All right. Um, so anytime you get attacked by an enemy, you're, um, you get 20% of, of your max HP as a shield. Alright, so he's a support monster, and he's really there just to, um, boost up speed and, um, crit rate. Uh, it's so many monsters that do that, boosting speed, and probably even, probably even do it better, but if you don't have those monsters and you have him, um, you know what, he's, he's still pretty good. So, um, what I would do with him is I would go, ooh, you need to make him tanky to get, okay, see this passive here, okay, so late game, I would go violent, okay, um, HP on, uh, 2, 4, 6, okay, um, and then early game, I'll probably go energy, all energy, HP on 2, 4, 6. Okay, so um, let's see what his leader skill is. Increases the defense of ally monsters in the dungeon by 33%. Mm, it's okay. It's okay. Um, Like I said, if you have uh, monsters that scale on defense, 
and they do more damage on defense, um, like the martial artists and uh, um, copper, etc. Then this skill will be useful. Okay, so he since he's a support monster, you're not focusing on attack. Make him as tanky as possible to take advantage of his passive skill. All right, but um, um, yeah, Wendy's not the best one out of the bunch. Not nah, not to me at all. All right, I still like Smokey the best so far. Um, Misty. Misty, Misty. All right, so same thing, Trickster. Ghost appearance. This is like Smokey, the fire one. Um, he attacks four times. Um, yeah, so that's really good. Glancing hits are great. Okay, and he has a passive as well. So all of them have passives so far, except for Smokey. Okay, so he becomes immune against inability effects. Okay, so you can't put him to sleep or stun him. Also, your attack power is increased by 20% for every beneficial effect on you. All right. Um. So basically, he's he's definitely not a um a monster that's just that you bring independently. You need he's dependent on somebody to give him buffs. Um. So if you have a team that you know could put buffs on you, uh, you know, speed, um, attack buff, and all that good stuff. It'll make him a lot stronger. And I'm, like I'm thinking, this Trickster, since it's the only attack that most of these things have, it must do um, a lot of damage for him to be an attack monster. Okay, because this one right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he has, okay, so he does have another attack on him. Okay, so he's not like the water one. So he does have two attacks on him. But um, it seems like you put more buffs on him, the stronger he'll get. So that's 20% increase for every buff. Not the, not, and so I'm guessing that multiplies even on top of an attack buff. So. He might be really, really good, but he's dependent on somebody putting buffs on him. All right, so he increases critical rate of allied monsters in the dungeon by 24%. Um, crit rate like that is more useful in the arena when you need you need to land those crit those critical hits to probably take out um, the opposing team. But um, in the dungeon, not I don't think not so much. But well, we'll see. Probably if you have like a um. A light bear or uh who else um a verde hill and you you don't have the crit rate up to where you um take advantage of their um skills and you need somebody to crit crit rate boost them you might do well so um let's see the last one so misty's all right he's just dependent on somebody giving him buffs okay really dependent on somebody giving him buffs so the more buffs on him the stronger he is all right so Dusky. All right, so I'm thinking since he's a Halloween character and he's a dark monster, I'm thinking this would be the strongest one. Just taking a guess. So let's see. He's an attack monster. They got Trickster. Okay. And they have Song of the Night Wind again. So he also increases attack speed and critical rate. So it's he has the support skill again, but he's an attack monster. Let's see. Passive. The Knight's Comfort. If the turn ends without attacking any enemy, a seal that is proportionate to your level and last for three turns is generated while having the sealed all damage you deal is increased by 50 50 percent whoa oh wait, wait, wait. all right so first of all if he goes without attacking which is this uh song of the night wind after that for three turns for three turns he's gonna have increased damage for 50 percent wow so like i'm saying this trickster must do a lot of damage okay um so he is very good very very good very good wow okay so um yeah i will probably go um either um fatal blade or rage blade with him um trying to get that attack up as high as possible attack on two crit damage on four and attack on six um yeah i want that attack as high as possible so i could take advantage of um having a 50 percent increase in damage so this is i i predicted he is pretty good he's really good Leader skill increases the resistance of ally monsters in the dungeon by 40%, which can be useful in um, dragons. Um, okay, really good monster. Um, me, personally, I think the fire one's the best. Then I think the dark one. Then um, maybe the light, arguably. And then the water, then the wind. If I had to put it in order. So, um, but yeah, I really like this dark one as well. If I got it, I would not be mad at all. Okay, so um, I can see him doing a lot of damage. The light one too, but he needs he needs buffs on him. So, but yeah, if y'all like that, don't forget to like, 
comment and subscribe until next time this is sam black and i'm out